All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes of the Media and also Currency 365 crew. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so we are coming. We are days away or hours away from triggering the next phase of the wealth transfer as Shibarian Beta goes live. It accidentally went live this morning uh, This morning and created chaos around the world. A lot of you guys were sleeping when this happened, though. Um, and um, But uh, Shibarian Documentations and then Shibarian um, uh, Beta is expected to go live within the next 72 hours, so we're just days away, and this is going to trigger the next wealth transfer, right? And the next stages of the wealth transfer. Um, the prophetic tokens are going to outperform the market uh coming up here in in uh, march april and may and so let's go right so this is going to god's going to be making some of you guys wealthy and hoping you guys say right now say with me lord i'm one of the people that you're going to make wealthy i'm one of the people that are holding the prophetic tokens that are going to bring wealth they're going to drop two three zeros and i'm going to make six seven figures eight figures and i'm going to be part of the wealth transfer for the months of march april and may it is so i decree and declare it to be so in yeshua's mighty name there you go. So, and, and you seal it in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Rock Holy Spirit. All right. Now, of course, if you prayed that prayer and you hold no of the none of the prophetic tokens, then we can't help you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, God. Maybe God's gonna be like, hey, you need to at least grab something. I'm gonna sh I tell God to show you which ones to grab. Okay. If you don't have much money, tell God to show you which ones you're gonna grab. So maybe you can turn a hundred dollars into you know, um, you know, ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars whatever the case may be right whatever he wants to bless you with okay so um in this video we're talking about patience because we've had to be patient we had to be patient with the iraqi dinar we've had to be patient with the vietnamese dong and uh, zimbabwe and and uh, the cryptocurrencies and stuff and they've had their big ups and their big downs and a lot of us didn't take profits on the way up and we sold on the way down and we did the opposite and so we've been in, we we haven't really gained much on this wealth transfer journey and and we're looking to now you know gain from our patients and our, our recent patients over the last two years of the markets and we're looking to gain here in the months of the in the days to come in the weeks to come in the months to come right and then into the bull market of uh 20 of uh, 2025 uh 2024 2025 um you know what i mean and so we're looking to gain and we're looking to not just gain but to massively gain so we got to be patient and not just with the financial side we got to be patient with what god is doing for us as well and a lot of us want to run out and scream and shout in the, in the roads and and just uh, try to do something different on our own and and that's not being led by god and that's just going to get us into trouble so we have to rebuke that right we have to remember that god's in control let god lead the way be patient be patient and during this time folks do not run out and, and buy things that you're not supposed to be buying yet or doing things that you're not supposed to be doing yet because you're rushing you know don't rush god because let god do it for you let god take care of these things for you don't just spontaneously do things you always it always usually leads to bad bad things happening right because you you make one mistake and it's like the whole thing crumbles and you're now you're out of you know thirty thousand dollars or you're out of this or you're out of that or you're in legal trouble now right so let god lead you be patient in the season be patient be patient be patient in the season you know because you're going to be coming into wealth just be patient you don't you don't need to rush it you don't need to rush anything um you know sit back and relax and praise god and and let him lead the way and ask god what do you do next you know when the money's coming in and god's telling you to cash out and, and you're sitting there with you know three million dollars or nine million dollars or six hundred thousand dollars and you've never seen that money before in your life and and god's telling you just be patient don't you know don't act sporadically and just do things out of the norm right uh, you know do what you're going to do right give to god's kingdom and uh pay off your bills and your debt and be debt free and do the things that you're supposed to do because a lot of times you'll get money and you'll get this stuff and you'll get appreciation and all and then or you get a raise at work or whatever promotions and then you forget all the things that you said you were going to do, um, you know, uh, to, to help out God's kingdom and to help yourself and your family out, you forgot all those things. You literally forget and you think that 
I did this myself and I'm I'm the I'm I'm God now, right? And so you you forget all those things and then you you go and you have pride and and um you you have this godlike mentality and you just forget um to do the things that you said you were going to do for months and months and months and years and years and years. So be patient, relax, sit back, praise God. You maybe even go into a long, a nice long fast. I might, I might even like when when these things are popping off and people are cashing out and everybody's cashing out. Luna Classic is at a dollar, and you know, and and all these things are happening over the next three years. You know, it's like man, you might want to just go go and fast for a week or two and just thank God the whole week. The whole week is just. Thank God, you know, just fast, get off of social media, get off of everything. Your money's safe in your in your in your wallets and your ledgers, you know what I mean? Your private wallets. I don't know about your central central wallets. That's not that's not safe at all. But in your private wallets is safe. You're decentralized in your ledgers and stuff. And so you're good, man. Just you know, go take a week off and go praise God and just thank God for your new life, you know. Um, that would be a wonderful thing to do as well. And so we got to be patient in this time. Be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. Things will change for the better, right? And so it's going to instantly change for the better, you know what I mean? And when you're sitting on $500,000 or $5 million or $50 million, things will definitely instantly change for the better. The only problem is that with, with money it comes a lot of responsibilities, come a lot of heartaches, come a lot of pain and suffering, comes a lot of tragedies and all types. Why? Because people don't take their time. People rush. You know, I seen I just seen a story the other day of a of a guy who won two hundred million dollars in the lottery and he was spending a hundred and thirty thousand dollars a day. Doing what? You know, like he, the man probably didn't even make a hundred thousand, a hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year when he won the lottery, and he got the nerve to spend a hundred and thirty one thousand dollars a day. And he, it, I, th- I think he, I think he, he got killed and all types of like everything that the whole, the whole family lost everything, the legacy. Uh, he, they lost their lives. I mean. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So it could be, it could, if you don't, if you don't be patient and let God lead you, it's gonna, it can lead to your complete demise, right? And so we're going to see that. We're going to see people, you know, when the, when all these things happen, the not happens, we're going to see people just start taking trips all around the world, not being led by God, getting themselves in trouble. You see those people that went to Mexico, they didn't pray about it. If they had prayed about it, when God would have told them, no, you know, bad, something bad's going to happen to y'all. They didn't pray about going to Mexico, and then they get then they get captured by the by the cartel, right? And so when you take them, when you go on trips and you go on these things, folks, you got to pray about these things and let God lead you in all things, right? So you can't just jump on um, planes and just spontaneously go on trips or go on trips without God's permission, man. He can, he, he is there to make sure you live out your destiny. But if, when you put it in your hands and, and the world's hand, the world's going to mess you up. The world's going to jack you up. And God's like, you didn't ask me, you know, like, I, you know, like, I love you, but <laughs> you didn't ask me, man, you know, so, you know. And um, and I sent the Holy Spirit to show you a dream of warning, warning, warning. And I'm pretty, and one one of the guys, he 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 said warning, warning, warning. But they didn't listen. He and he didn't listen. He still went with them, right? And so one of the guys actually was given a warning sign, and he told them that warning, warning, warning. We shouldn't go. We shouldn't go. And she, and his butt still got on the plane and went <laughs> with them. I would have, as soon as I had that warning sign, I would have said, warning folks, something bad is going to happen. I just got it. So I just got a dream. I ain't going. No, sir. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were like, okay, whatever. We, we gone. And okay. <laughs> That's on y'all. And I ain't going to have, I ain't going to lose sleep over either. I'm going to be sad that things happen to you, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it when you don't listen, when you don't listen or pray for it yourself. You know what I mean? I got my life. We got, we got, we got things to do in the kingdom. And if you're not kingdom sounded people and you don't want to pray about things and confirm things with God about your own life and safety, that's on you. You know what I mean? And so you're, that puts you out of the realm of being patient and being led by God. And when you're not patient, and when you're not led by God, 
lots of bad things happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we got to be led by God and we got to be patient because this world is evil. Okay? And people are looking to take you out at any moment, right? And so we got to be led by God and we got to be patient, right? When we're going on trips like that to other countries, we need to pray about it and get confirmation that, it's, that we're going to be safe and that God's going to protect us on the plane and in the hotels and then when we're when we're doing the tourism stuff right we can't just go places anymore it's just the world is too dark and dangerous man you can't just do that yeah you can go to your local stores and stuff but you gotta when you wake up you gotta put that armor of god around you you gotta put the blood of your shoe around you you gotta be you gotta set, you know, ask for the angels and warrior angels to surround your vehicle surround your home surround your car surround yourself surround your family you gotta put that blood over you man you can't just be walking out the house without praying and repenting right it's just you, you might never come back you know what i mean the way the world is man and at least you know when you when you when you walk out that house and you repent it you ain't got to be scared about nothing you know you you put that blood of your shoe on you and you repent for your sins and, and, and uh, all your all your sins and, and you put and you ask for the mighty warrior angels to come on you and surround you you ain't got to be scared about nothing you know what i mean you can live life you know without being scared and fear man you know what i mean so you you know you're you're good to go you know <laughs> you're good all right so um so let's let's be impatient let let's let's be patient um and uh you know and let's let God lead us uh, as we're about to go into this next wealth transfer here and it's gonna be a really awesome time for many of us um that are gonna become uh, multimillionaires here that you know for some of you guys for the first time are gonna walk into that millionaire status and and um, some of us are going to walk into that six-figure status for the first time and millionaire status first time. Some of you guys, some, a few of you guys might be billionaires um, by the time we hit May. And so um, so welcome, you know, to, to that status if that's what you become. And um, you only need to let everybody know. You can, you can just stay decentralized, keep it all in your DeFi wallets and spread it out all through your DeFi wallets and different things. Maybe you'll be staking some and, and um, holding some in stable coins and other things and other Trying other platforms and and um, and just living life using virtual cards and stuff. And Volt Eater is going to have their own virtual uh, debit uh, Visa card, so you can be able to use that and put John Doe on it and use it up to five thousand dollars per per swipe and uh, and then you can reload it. I think you're going to be able to re reload it like five to ten times a day, so you, you're going to have plenty of money. So um, you know, so it's, you can you can do that and just live a, a decentralized uh, life, right? And um, you're good to go. So you know what I mean. Um, and so the, these things are coming. So let's pray real quick. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the teaching. We thank you that we're going to be patient and we're going to let you lead in Yeshua's name, and and that um, you're going to be you're going to be protecting us with the with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach Hakodesh, Holy Spirit, and all the mighty warrior angels are going to be around our cars, around us, around our spirit man, around our families, our friends. The blood of Yeshua is going to cover all of us. The 365 crew, the eyes of a media crew, in Yeshua's mighty name, all of our friends, family, children are all going to be covered under blood and all with the mighty warrior angels as well we just thank you father that we have patience and we've had patience all the way up to this time father and now we're about to now you're about to trigger the next wealth transfer that's going to take place here very soon and more wealth is going to be given to your people over the march april may and we just thank you father we thank you there's nothing the enemy can do about it uh you know they can crash the markets and the crypto market but the prophetic tokens are set to go in yeshua's money name we thank you for all the wealth that's coming to your people we thank you for all the passive income that's coming for your people and we thank you for everything that you've done for us in your shoe my name to get us to this point we thank you for opening the windows of heaven and pouring out the wealth transfer on your people and changing our lives for eternity and leaving and letting us leave a legacy uh you know a godly legacy and a great awesome legacy in yeshua's mighty name led by the holy spirit led by yeshua we believe in yeshua and we accept yeshua as our lord and savior in yeshua's mighty name may we be washed cleansed in the blood of Yeshua, wash clean in the blood of Yeshua. May may the blood cleanse us from all of our sins and wickedness in Yeshua's name, and may we we accept the Holy Spirit in the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. 
and we repent for every sin that we have done. Secret sins, hidden sins, unknown sins, known sins, sins in the light, sins in the dark. We repent for all our sins and all of our abominations and all the perverted things in our minds, bodies, actions. We just repent for every sin that we have done in Yeshua's mighty name, knowing and unknowing. We repent now. Wash us clean in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the record of the Holy Spirit. We cancel, renounce, rebuke all demonic dreams, all demonic plans of the enemy, all demonic dreams of other people ahead of us. We just send it all back. Everything in our dreams that are demonic and evil that we are, that we're doing, Father, we cancel it right now. We ask you that you cancel it every single night. You cancel those dreams and you terminate them uh, immediately after they, 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 they happen. And you send it all back to the sender. And you send it all to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction. We make it perpetually forevermore for eternity. In Yeshua's mighty, mighty name, we pray. Just in case we forget to cancel our dreams, Father. We we, 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 we want you to perpetually cancel them immediately um, when it, if they happen in Yeshua's mighty name. And protect us in the spiritual realm with the angels as well. And uh, let the angels um, protect us and cover all all portals and windows and openings and doors and chimneys and and uh, you know things that that the enemy uses to be able to ask to project into our dreams and and and, and bring a uh, trouble into our dreams in Yeshua's money name. We thank you, Father, for stopping the enemy, and and um, we thank you for. Um, blessing our lives. We are favor coming in, favor going out, blessed coming in, blessed going out. We are healthy. We are blessed. We're young. We're youthful. We look youthful. We, we, we're we not going to age anymore. We reject time and we reject days and months and times and years in Yeshua's name. And we're going to, we are, we are not going to age anymore. We're going to get younger and younger and younger. We're going to get more stronger and stronger and stronger and more youthful. We reject time in Yeshua's mighty name. And we reject, we reject the curse of time as well. In Yeshua's mighty name, we are going to stay youthful and we're going to get younger and younger and younger every single day in the year 2023. <laughs> I just said the year, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, just, you know, but anyways, it is what it is. Peace out, God bless. And uh, we covered this prayer with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the record of the Holy Spirit in Yeshua's mighty, mighty name. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to have a relationship with you, being able to pray to you, being able to worship on YouTube. Thank you for allowing us to use YouTube, which is filled with a lot of filth, uh, just like social media is, but we're using it for the kingdom purposes on here, for the wealth transfer stuff on Quarantine 365, getting people prepared to be financially um, stable and pre 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 um, financially wealthy and, pre and uh, financially um, uh, responsible to leave a legacy and then here for prayers and and teachings and and to bring people to christ and accept your christ as yeshua hamashiach lord king jesus christ and the whole and accept the baptism of the holy spirit and wake up uh to the truth of their lives and the truth of what's going on around the world we just thank you father for all of that in yeshua's mighty name we are out of the matrix we are out of this simulation earth and we're headed back to the kingdom of heaven for eternity in Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you, Father. We thank you. We're in, we're, we're not we're not we're probably never well, maybe we I don't know if we're gonna come back or not. Maybe we come back as angels or what I don't know. That's gonna be up to you and us. We we don't know. That's it will actually gonna be up to you, Father. You know, what we what we do in the future, but we're we're, we're gonna leave this planet and we're gonna finally come back to you in Yeshua's mighty name. We're going to fulfill our destinies. We're going to fulfill our destinies. We are going to fulfill our destinies and our purpose on this earth. And you should explain it. And we will receive a job well done when it's all said and done in Yeshua's name. Shalom. Eyes open. See you guys in the next video. And be patient, folks. Be patient. You know, when you get your wealth, be patient. Don't just go out there to Vegas and act stupid. And be patient and let God lead you so you don't make mistakes and it doesn't cost you your life as well. All right. Peace out. God bless. Bye. Eyes open.